everyone. Good evening. Am I audible? Please respond in the chat. And how are you all? How was today's paper? Oh, nice. Maybe we'll have that. <laughs> so many people. Kya baat hai? Batao bhai, kya ho gaya? How was your paper? How was your things going on? So today, have you seen today's paper? It was very, very easy. Don't you think so? It was very nice. So, aaj ka discussion ka topic hai. Yesterday's evening shift and today's morning shift paper. And I have loads of things to discuss with you in that. So before I start, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Bhavya Agrawal and I am a senior faculty chemistry in Ask ITLS. And without wasting time, let's quickly jump to our paper. Right. So about today's paper, what we have seen as a regular trend for the past three days now is that it has been easy to moderate people. The entire paper was easy to moderate. Now, this time, the number of moderate questions were high as compared to the easy ones. And as we have seen from the first day to the third day, what has been the major change? The number of memory-based questions have decreased. That's the best part. Because that is something which we do not remember as such. So the number of memory-based questions has been decreased. Yesterday, I said that today's paper will be somewhere 60 to 65 percent only from NCRT, whereas for previous two days, it has been nearly 70 percent, which has been the scenario. So today's paper was nearly 60 to 65 percent NCRT as in direct, directly. OK, now. In today's paper, if you see, there was almost equal privilege to 11th and 12th, which I predicted again yesterday. I said that previously on the first day, there was more of 12th. On the second day, there was more of 11th. So today there would be almost a balance, which we found. Okay. Another part that I would like to discuss is those topics which are from where I predicted that the questions are going to come. They have been there. Like in today's paper, I said that atomic structure may say, yeah, nodes se question aega, nahi to Bohr's theory se aega. So there was a question from nodes today. Okay. Yesterday, I also predicted ki ab uh, thermodynamics may say, pichli do bar se. Thermochemistry may say question a rahe. Top first law may say ga. And there was a first law question. Tike. Kinetics may say when a pehle batayata to make ki Arrhenius equation may say question a ga. Aya hua hai. Okay. Ionic equilibrium may say question ana tha. Do may ne predict ki ata ki buffer may say ana chahiye. But aya hai KSP se. But koi batni. Ionic equilibrium se to confirmed question aya hai. Right. And I even predicted from P block ki ya to sulfur se question aega, nahi to phosphorus se question aega. Or sulfur se question aya hua hai. Thik hai? So, I say kai topics the which I have predicted yesterday and you will see that there are going to be questions based on that. So, without wasting time, let's start with our first question or ye dekho, ye rabo sulfur wala question about which I was talking okay so this was the question from p block and the question says now in this paper what we have seen is like there was a lot of uh, statement questions though they were not of the exact sort which we are uh, like these were not assertion reason questions so they're simply statement questions where there were two statements and you have to just tell that which one is true which one is false or if both are true or both are false just that level of question was there. So if you'll see the first question, the first question says alpha sulfur and beta sulfur would be interconvertible. Pure NCERT. I have always said that whenever you talk about 
इनऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री जे मेन्स लेवल पर मेजर फोकस हैज टू बी एनसीआर टी जे एडवांस पे अलग बात है बट जे मेन्स लेवल तक एनसीआर टी शुड बी अ प्राइम फोकस सेम वे येस्टरडे आई ऑल्सो प्रोडिक्टेड अबाउट लाइक सम बेसिक चैप्टर्स एनवायरमेंटल एंड केमिस्ट्री इन एवरी डे लाइफ बायो मॉलिक्यूल्स उनके लिए भी मैंने कहा था सिर्फ एनसीआर टी पढ़ के जाना यू विल सी द काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन विच आर आस्ट डायरेक्ट क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम एनसीआर टी एज इट इज ओके सो ये एनसीआर टी लेवल का क्वेश्चन है फर्स्ट रिएक्शन दिस इज गिवन इन योर एनसीआर टी जहां से सल्फर शुरू होता है उसकी उसके फर्स्ट पैराग्राफ में ये सारी इंफॉर्मेशन सो दिस वॉज दैट देन सल्फर जहां पे शुरू होता है वहीं पे रोम्बिक एंड मोनोक्लिनिक है एंड दे हैव टोल्ड यू दैट इट इज द रोम्बिक फॉर्म ऑफ सल्फर विच इज मोस्ट स्टेबल सो फ्रॉम हेयर वॉट डू आई फाइंड आई फाउंड दैट स्टेटमेंट वन इज ट्रू बट स्टेटमेंट टू इज फॉल्स एंड फ्रॉम हेयर आई थिंक आई गेट माई आंसर Isn't it? Direct answer. NCERT. बहुत ही easy question. But this was a question in between the lines from NCERT. So अच्छा question था. Otherwise it was easy to do. Right? And now let's move to the next question. अच्छा this is again a predicted question of mine. Yesterday if you remember I said that states of matter में से जो क्वेश्चन आए आए हैं अभी तक उनमें से कोई भी क्वेश्चन हमारे गैस लॉस से नहीं आया है और लिक्विफिकेशन से नहीं आया है आई सेट दैट यस्टरडे ओके यू कैन चेक द वीडियो आल्सो सो पिछली दो बारों से वॉट एवर आई हैव प्रोडिक्टेड यू विल फाइंड दैट फाइव टू सिक्स क्वेश्चंस हैज बिन देयर फ्रॉम द एग्जैक्ट सेम टॉपिक्स विच इज अज नंबर सो सी दिस इज द क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द गैस लॉस Now, देखने में ये क्वेश्चन लग रहा होगा तुम्हें एडियाबैटिक का पी वी टू द पावर ऑफ गामा इज इक्वल टू कॉन्स्टेंट एडियाबैटिक पार्ट अब वेदर यू नो अबाउट एडियाबैटिक रिलेशन और यू डू नॉट नो अबाउट दैट आप डिरेक्ट यहां पर सिंपल अप्लाई करोगे लॉजिक पी इन टू वी इज कॉन्स्टेंट सो फ्रॉम हेयर पी वन वी वन टू द पावर ऑफ हाफ इज इक्वल टू पी टू वी टू टू द पावर ऑफ हाफ irrespective whether there is gamma or there is no gamma right whatever is the value given because it is a constant put the equations this is the information given the relationship between v2 and v1 since the power is half iska matlab ya to option a hoga ya to answer b hoga right d option is 1 by 2 thoda dikh nahi raha hai na so Obviously, these cannot be because v ki part half hai. So, of course, the answer has to be one or two. So, when you solve it, you'll get this answer. Very easy. बहुत ही अव्वल लेवल का टुच्चा क्वेश्चन है ना? Yes. Straight four marks. And आधे बच्चे इसमें क्या सोचेंगे? यार मैंने तो adiabatic के relations ही नहीं किए थे. Because I found it tough. Coaching वालों ने तो कराए थे, पर मैंने किए ही नहीं. It was not at all related with it. ठीक है Now let's move to the next one. See, this again is a question from chemical bonding. For the past two days, I have been saying this: chemical bonding is highly, highly important. And in the end, I will be discussing what should be your strategy for the next month's paper. So I'll be discussing about that. So. Stay till the end, right? Now see this: the one in which all the bond lengths are not identical. Hey, ये जो not word होता है ना, ये बहुत important होता है. J में they generally ask you which of the following is incorrect, not correct. So because we have a perception, and वो generally पता है क्या करते हैं? ये तो चंद के लोग होते हैं. Correct को हमेशा bolds में लिखेंगे, बाकी सब को normal. This is what they do, right? And so that हम लोग एक वर्ड पे फोकस करते हैं साइकोलॉजिकल बैरियर क्रिएट होता है एंड वी गिव द रॉन्ग आंसर सो सी इन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग कंपाउंड ऑल बॉन्ड लेंथ आर नॉट आइडेंटिकल सो आप क्या करोगे 
you will find out the hybridization of each case like for a what is the hybridization everyone in the chat box for bf4 negative what should be the hybridization of boron atom the central metal or the central atom quick guys the hybridization is sp3 right sarang sp3 so for sp3 atoms are also same so why d part why d total bonds are four only bond pairs are present no lone pair so sp3 okay so since it is sp3 all the four bond uh, bonds are equal all the bf bond lengths are equal now when we come to xef4 what is the hybridization guys quick in the chat box guys do join this telegram channel so that you will get the updates and everything okay sp3 d2 in which there are two lone pairs and four bond pairs right octahedral f to aa gaye yahan square planar wale location pe and the two lone pairs are above and below right so even here the xenon and fluorine bonds are or bond lengths are same right now we come to sf4 chalo ab sf4 me what is the hybridization everyone equal okay hybridization is sp3 d so we have to use bent's rule now if you remember for the continuous this is the continuous third day when you are getting bent's rule question continuous third day humne pichli dono classes mein whether you talk about uh 25th or 24th or now 26th paper kuch bhi karo hamesha bent's rule pe ek question aaya hai right so bohr electronegative element will lie on axial and then this ab hame to pata hai na ki axial aur equatorial ki bond lengths are different different axial bonds are longer equatorials are shorter yes so they are not identical and hence c will be your answer true understood chalo so now let's move to the next question the correct order of magnetic moment so magnetic moment again is one such part from where almost in every paper a question has been asked okay so it makes it very very important so up since this question was from coordination gimbans एक और चीज विच वॉज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इज द फील्ड स्ट्रेंथ द स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ द लाइक इट ओके सो इफ आई टॉक अबाउट द फर्स्ट केस इट इज एफ ई प्लस थ्री राइट अटोमिक नंबर इज ट्वेंटी सिक्स सो टू द पीपल हु डू नॉट नो द ट्रिक आई टेल यू एन इजी ट्रिक सी वेन एवर यू आर गोइंग टू राइट द कॉन्फिग्रेशन for the 3d series okay for the 3d series the trick is very simple right argon okay then you have 4s and 3d so the first number goes to 4s and the second number goes to 3d whether you talk about this whether you talk about nickel again the writing the configuration becomes easy argon then first number goes to 4s second number goes to 3d of course it is not valid for copper and copper and okay 
So which are the two elements which do not uh, like which do not have a regular configuration in the 3D series? Come on, everyone in the chat. Copper and chromium. Atomic number 24, atomic number 29. They are exceptional. Regular as in like where there is an exceptional behavior of half filled and fully filled configurations. Okay, so iron will be what? 3D5? Fe3 plus. Same way this is cobalt 3 plus. So cobalt is what? 27. If you will remove 3 electrons, it is 3d6. Nickel is 28. This one is Ni2+. plus. If you remove the 2 electrons, it becomes 3d8. Copper is 29. Exceptional behavior. 4d10. 3d. Oh, my bad. 3d10. 4s1. So copper 2 plus means 3d9. Right. Now, in these cases, what I am going to do, this is 3D5 and the ligand is weak. So, no pairing and hence N value is 5. Spin only magnetic moment is what? Under root N, N plus 2, Bohr magneton. So, more the value of N, higher will be the magnetic moment. So in the first case the n value is 5. In the second case n value is 0 because cyanide is a strong field ligand. So what will it do? It will do the pairing. So n value is 0. In the third case doesn't matter. So n value is 2, n value is 1. 1 unpaired in fourth option, 2 unpaired in 3. And more the value of n, more is the magnetic moment. From here, I will get my direct answer, won't I? Right? Make sense? Easy peasy. So the question was very easy and the level was NCRT part. Because you will find these kind of questions even in NCRT. Okay? So this question was very easy, very direct. Now, where the direct is, this is not the direct question. So, you have seen that in all the papers, there had been a question from general isolation principle. In all the years, I said, in all the days, or all the past three days, there had been a question on uh, from metallurgy part. Right? So, it means it is very important even for the next attempt. Now, this is a direct NCRT textbook question. Zone refining. As it is from NCRT. Jahan pe examples the hai, which all uh, molecules undergo zone refining, where pe indium is also already mentioned. Right? So, this is another question from in between the lines of NCRT. Okay, very direct, very easy. Now let's move to the next question, another predicted one. So in this question, this is uh, from environmental chemistry. I said that environmental chemistry has to be exclusively done from NCRT. Kuch extra padhne ki zarat nahi hai. So there is a direct question from there. So this is environmental question, NCRT. Very easy, Mahatuchu question. Okay. So the rain, the pH of the rainwater is nearly 5 to 5.6, somewhere around that. So the first statement is true. And of course, if this is the regular pH of rainwater, which is already slightly acidic, so this means if it acid rain, it will go down the pH from the current stature or from the current pH of the rainwater. So, if that happens, 
then we call it as acidic rain or acid rain so true ansh the answer has to be a make sense everyone very direct very easy exactly saranj this question actually answers itself if i know that the first statement is correct all right so now let's move to the next question another predicted one that is from ionic equilibrium solubility product kya hoga you have to find out solubility kaise karte hain solubility find out you just write this part if this is s this is zero this is zero initially then this part is zero this is s and this will be 2s what is ksp the product of the ions raised to the power of their stoichiometric coefficients so the product of the concentration of ions raised to the power of stoichiometric coefficients 4s cube right is equal to ksp nikal lo cubic root and you'll get your answer right easy question and i feel is question ko to hame ncert level bolna padega theek hai because you'll find ki tumhare ncert textbook mein jo last mein back exercise questions hai usse isse to zyada tough questions available hain ncert mein right so this was supreme easy question ना? और जितने भी वो टॉपर लेवल के बच्चे होते हैं ना जिन्होंने बहुत नेक्स्ट लेवल पढ़ाइयां करी होती है हमारे हमें ये भी पढ़ाया गया था हमें वो भी पढ़ाया गया था so, उनके साथ एक बहुत बड़ी प्रॉब्लम होता है बाय द मोमेंट दे सी दिस लेवल ऑफ क्वेश्चन दे लाइक अरे इतना इजी इसमें जरूर कुछ तो दिक्कत होगी कुछ तो एक्स्ट्रा इंफॉर्मेशन होगी विच आई मिसिंग आउट एंड दे वेस्ट लॉट ऑफ टाइम इन दैट ओके सो जस्ट डोंट जस्ट गो विद फ्लो use your logic and enjoy the process all right all right see another statement question i i said that this time there were a lot of statement based questions lot of them okay so there are the, the two statements are there, uh, given this is from salt analysis ठीक है नाउ दिस पार्ट कैन बी अ पार्ट ऑफ सॉल्ट एनालिसिस और यू कैन से द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ कोऑर्डिनेशन कंपाउंड्स अब दिस पार्ट इज ऑलरेडी गिवन इन योर एनसीईआरटी ठीक है जो सेकंड लास्ट पेज है बिफोर समरी सेकंड लास्ट एंड लास्ट पेज ऑफ बिफोर समरी सो वहां पर दिस एंटायर थिंग इज गिवन दैट इज द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ कोऑर्डिनेशन कंपाउंड्स जहां पर सिस प्लेटिन के बारे में भी बताया है निकल डीएमजी बताया है देर आर मेनी अदर थिंग्स विच हैव बीन टोल्ड ओके सो इट्स एग्जैक्टली प्रेजेंट देयर इन योर एनसीईआरटी सो डीएमजी इज डायमिथाइल ग्लायोक्साइन व्हिच इज यूज्ड टू डिटेक्ट निकल टू प्लस एंड द गुड पार्ट अबाउट दिस पर्टिकुलर कंपाउंड इज इट इज यूज बोथ इन क्वालिटेटिव as well as quantitative analysis it's used both in qualitative as well as quantitative analysis of nickel so what happens is it produces a nickel dmg complex okay now this is a dmg in itself is a bidentate ligand but it is not neutral it is bidentate but it is not neutral okay that is why the first statement is true but the second statement becomes false okay so what is this it looks like it looks something like this han ji okay so then uh 
now we we'll talk about the next thing we know that the first statement is correct and the second statement is wrong so i'll get my answer right everyone easy question application based and again in between the lines this question was in between the lines all right now i'll move to the next question ye aaya hai thoda dhanka question okay after so long like after all the papers which i have been seeing वैसे सब memory based है so but this is still a better question ठीक है अब इस question में क्या अच्छी बात थी that if you see this part this is your uh, the reagent okay now here what is happening the moment you give acidic medium so you know that this double bond can undergo electromeric effect right the moment i know it can undergo electromeric effect it means it can form either this part or this part agreed these are the two possibilities after undergoing electromeric effect the moment you see multiple bonds matlab electromeric effect is possible ab dekho now on the any general time on any general day what would we say we'll say that that carbocation is more stable which is a secondary carbocation right hamesha hum ye kehte hain that carbocation is more stable which is secondary so i am expecting that this should be a stable intermediate this is what my expectation is right but what i am seeing here is that there is a minus i group connected so whenever there is a minus i group so the uh, the closer the minus i group lesser will be the stability of the carbocation right that was the only twist in this question okay all right key star star boy <laughs> okay then so then here this one is the better one but this is going to be more stable so electrophilic substitution reactions are the characteristic reactions of benzene so benzene agar elect attack karega to is electrophile pe karega as a result your answer will be two. now generally hum log bahut level par sochte hain all the toppers of of course would be thinking towards one two hydride shift bhi hum sochenge hum ye bhi soch lenge hum wo bhi soch lenge yahan par one two hydride shift won't work nothing will work because the more you go closer to no2 the unstable you are becoming more unstable you are becoming so just don't go that way right so this one was a very good question which i found right okay then so now let's move to the next question this question is uh, like i do not know what was the memory part in this of uh, like जिसने भी बताया होगा सो इन कार्बाइल अमीन टेस्ट नाउ येस्टरडे आई ऑल्सो प्रिडिक्टेड कि अमीन पढ़ के जाना क्योंकि हर बार अमीन में से कोई ना कोई क्वेश्चन जरूर आ रहा है ठीक है सो अमीन में से मेजरली बहुत सी नेम रिएक्शन अभी तक पूछी गई है इफ यूल सी हिंसबर्ग में से क्वेश्चन आ चुका है देर हैज बिन क्वेश्चन ऑन कार्बाइल अमीन हिंसबर्ग में से आज सुबह ही क्वेश्चन आया है then there was a question on gabriel thalamide yesterday uske alawa there was a question from dye test yesterday so kuch na kuch kuch na kuch amines mein se aa hi raha har roz okay so i, I what i found was ki bhai hoffman degradation which was one of the most important reactions usme se abhi tak question nahi aaya to ho sakta hai aaj evening shift mein aa gaya ho most probably बट हॉफमैन से भी एक्सपेक्टेड था मुझे 
सो कार्बाइल मीन्स एंड आई सेट की हर बार एल्डियाइड्स कीटोन में से नेम रिएक्शन में से क्वेश्चन आ रहा है सो आई थिंक ऑक्सो प्रोसेस में से भी क्वेश्चन आया है कल गैटमिन कॉस्ट से भी था एंड स्टीफन रिएक्शन से भी आ चुका है देन रोजन मन रिडक्शन से आ चुका है अभी तक जितनी इंफॉर्मेशन है सारे रिएक्शन ये सारे नेम रिएक्शन है All right. So now we'll talk about the carbyl uh, carbyl amine test. So carbyl amine test is valid for primary amines, right? And this is one test which uses your base with CHCl3 chloroform. So there are two reactions in which uh, chloroform is highly used. One is carbyl amine test, and the second one is rimadiban. Apna too was asked. Okay, our Saranj, you gave the paper yesterday. Okay. So what happens in carbyl amine? Whatever is your primary amine, that gets converted into isocyanide. So your answer will be this. So the question which was asked was related to find out in the product what was the uh functional group like all right so this is the question it is very easy direct ncrt based reaction that is why i have been like saying this for like past two webinars also please do your ncrt very well in chemistry please There are many reactions, many questions which were directly asked from NCERT. So, ये सबसे ज़्यादा important है हमारे लिए, क्योंकि यहाँ पे कम मेहनत में ज़्यादा फायदा है ना? आपको four marks तो मिल ही रहे हैं, वो भी सिर्फ NCERT पढ़ के, जो आपको any which ways पढ़नी होती है, right? To crack your school examination, to get good marks in boards, to get good marks in pre boards, any which ways you are studying. So that is the best part about chemistry. Just use that information. This is another question. As it is from NCERT, another one of the predicted ones. Yesterday I said that there will be questions. No, day before yesterday I said there will be questions from sugar. So yesterday also there was a question, and now this. So yesterday there was a question on lactose. Remember, and today this is maltose. Same type of question. Eh? कल भी यही पूछा गया था. C1 C4 linkage structures are given. आज भी वही है C1 C4 linkage alpha glucose alpha glycosidic linkage होता है and glucose is there. As it is NCERT question अब इस ज़्यादा आसान तो नहीं पूछ सकते ये bio molecules में से right चलो so now let's move to our next question which is uh, a question from your uh, Numerical type, okay. So if you remember correctly, again I predicted that solutions may say colligative properties may say question I go. So yesterday again we did a question based on colligative property. Remember depression and freezing point वाला question किया था हम लोगों ने कल. और आज this is a question from elevation and boiling point again colligative properties. True. देखो बहुत ही इजी बहुत ही डायरेक्ट क्वेश्चन है बट हाँ इंडीड वेन एवर देर इज अ न्यूमेरिकल टाइप क्वेश्चन सो आज के पेपर में जो मैंने बच्चों से फीडबैक लिया है दैट वॉज ऑर्गेनिक वॉज कंपेरेटिवली टफर ओके एंड सेकेंड न्यूमेरिकल्स हैड अ गुड सॉल्विंग पार्ट विच मेक द ओवरऑल पेपर लिटल लेंथी सो ये चीज हमारी आज के पेपर में थी and if you have seen for the past 3 days if you'll see the difficulty level was the least on the first day then moderate on the second and third day it's comparatively the higher right so this is how the trend moves and this is in general trend which has been uh, uh, seen for the past 3 years now okay so what does this question say it says that there is an electrolyte yesterday when there was a question it was an organic compound so your solute was non electrolyte remember 
Today, they asked it on electrolyte which dissolved in water which dissociates 75% due to which elevation in boiling point is 2.5 Kelvin. Then find the molality of the solution given the Kb is this. Okay, see, uh, you know that since it is elevation in boiling point, so delta Tb is what? I into Kb into M, right? I said it yesterday also and I'll repeat it today that whenever you are using colligative properties, irrespective of whatever is the nature of solute, have this habit of writing the colligative properties in terms of Wonthoff factor. No matter if it is given, if it is not given, have this habit. Okay. Now, since it is an electrolyte and it is 75% dissociated, it means I'm having the value of alpha with me. Right. I have the alpha value. Now, I do not know ki remembrance issue hai ya kya hai, ya question incomplete hai. Because they have not said exactly, matab, na to unhone electrolyte bataya hai kya hai. So, uh, technically you cannot say that in how many parts will it be dissociating. Looking at the question. The number of parts, I cannot rely on that. So, uh, I'll just go with the simple part if these, if this is an actual question, then and if nothing is mentioned, then you have to take it as a simple normal electrolyte and just dissociate it into two parts, one cation, one anion, if nothing is mentioned, okay, because uh, they, this is the only way or the only reason they have not mentioned it. If it is simply dissociating to give a unit cation and a unit anion. Otherwise, they would have mentioned, right? So, if I consider that, so I know the value of I in terms of alpha, right? So, it is what? 1 plus N minus 1 alpha. N value is 2. I know Kb value. Uh, no, huh. I know Kb value. I am given with delta Tb. Can I simply find out molality? Is it possible? Yes or no? Yeah, it is. That's it. What will you call this? This is a simple NCERT level question. Direct formula based question. Okay. But NCERT in a want of factor may itna detailed discussion. They have talked about want of factor, but they have not talked in that detail. But otherwise, this question is moderate level. Make sense? Numerical question, easy to do, solvable. Yeah. All right then. So now let's move to the next question. This question. Uh, remember I said uh, that there will be a question on Arrhenius equation from chemical kinetics. This is that question. From Arrhenius equation, chemical kinetics. So you remember log K2 by K1 is what? Ea by 2.303R. 1 by T1 minus 1 by T2. Right? This is your Arrhenius equation. Now this is such a direct question. Can I say that? Because the rate of reaction becomes 5 times. It means K2 by K1 value is 5. So the rate of reaction is becoming 5 times. Then the second part is what? Ea is what you need to find. 2.303 is a number. R is gas constant. Now, ye kaun sa gas constant loge? Because activation energy is always in joules or kilojoules. So you will be taking specifically that gas constant whose units are in joules. 8.314 is the value that you have to take. T1 given a T2 given a right. Now, in the T1 part, again we have to consider it in Kelvin. T2 part again needs to be done in Kelvin. Bas, thoda sa ye wala time hai. You'll solve and you'll get your answer. Now, this question is considered to be moderate to difficult because the calculations are a bit lengthy. 
सो द क्वेश्चन इज जस्ट कैलकुलेशन बेस्ड तो थोड़ी सी कैलकुलेशन टाइम कंज्यूमिंग है दैट्स द ओनली थिंग अदरवाइज द क्वेश्चन इज वेरी इजी आई टेल यू राइट डज दिस मेक सेंस टू यू ऑल वेरी इजी क्वेश्चन अदरवाइज डायरेक्ट फॉर्मूला बेस्ड क्वेश्चन मैं बार बार बोल रही हूं इतने टाइम से दैट तुम्हें सिर्फ अपनी चीट शीट्स पढ़ के जानी है ऑल द फॉर्मूला शीट्स ऑल द नेम रिएक्शन एंड जितनी भी एनसीआर टी में इनऑर्गेनिक रिएक्शन गिवेन है सब उससे ज्यादा कुछ नहीं पढ़ना होता लास्ट मोमेंट के लिए ठीक है जिस कोई ग्लैंड एंड वर्क फॉर इट आर राइट इजी चलो ना नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन अरे ये तो बस महा टू क्वेश्चन आई थिंक कोई भी सॉल्व कर देगा इसको फाइंड मैग्नेटिक मोमेंट इन बोर मैग्नेट ऑन फॉर एन एलिमेंट विद अटोमिक नंबर ट्वेंटी नाइन इन डायवेलेंट आयन कंडीशन ओके सो अटोमिक नंबर ट्वेंटी नाइन मीन्स कॉपर अब डायवेलेंट कंडीशन मीन सी यू टू प्लस अभी अभी तो हमने एक क्वेश्चन किया बेस्ड ऑन दिस सो दैट वुड बी वॉट आर्गन एंड थ्री डी नाइन राइट सो द नंबर ऑफ अनपेड इलेक्ट्रॉन इज वन एंड यू ऑलरेडी नो द फॉर्मूला सो रूट थ्री विल बी योर आंसर एंड आई थिंक एवरी वन नोज वॉट इज रूट थ्री वन पॉइंट सेवन थ्री तो नियरेस्ट इन टीचर पता है आ जाएगा आंसर वेरी इजी वेरी डायरेक्ट वेरी लॉजिकल राइट नाउ लेट्स मूव टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन दिस इज द क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम सॉलिड स्टेट राइट सो दे से वेरी नाइस सच अ गुड क्वेश्चन एक तो ये एन टू नहीं होगा दिस इज एन एड एवोकेड्रोज नंबर आई थिंक इज गिवेन बट डू लाइक इस क्वेश्चन को देख के तुम्हें ऐसा नहीं लग रहा कि हम बैक एक्सरसाइज ऑफ एनसीआर टी कर रहे हैं आई ऐसी फील दिस इज एग्जैक्ट एनसीआर टी क्वेश्चन राइट द वन बेस्ड ऑन डेंसिटी तुम्हें याद है भी हम लोगों ने जो कल क्वेश्चन किया था दैट बीसीसी वन लाइक when they ask for the coordination number such an easy question such a direct question and now see this one again such an easy one where you know that density formula is what z into m by na into a cube mass i can find uh, mass is already given wo bhi zarurat nahi hai mujhe mehnat karne ki fcc crystal lattice hai so z value is 4 na the best thing already given and a is 365 picometer so the only thing is that you have to convert it into centimeter because i want the answer in grams per centimeter cube that is the only thing that you need to do right very easy question very direct purely from ncert सीधा फोर नंबर इन योर बैग अब इससे ज्यादा आसानी से अगर जो ने आंसर्स दे दिए ना मतलब तुम्हें मार्क्स दे दिए तो फिर तो कट ऑफ विल बी वेरी हाई सो दिस क्वेश्चन वॉज वेरी वेरी टू चू एंड नाउ लेट मूव टू आर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच इज प्रोबेबली द लास्ट वन ओके so this is again the type of question i was talking about first law of thermo equation aaya aa gaya do baar se thermo chemistry mein se puch liye hum log ne thak gaye wo log bhi to ab de diya first law mein se so now five mole of an ideal gas is compressed isothermally at 293 kelvin by using five atmosphere external pressure फ्रॉम होगा ये 
from initial pressure point 3 atmosphere to point 7 atmosphere find the net heat released okay the net heat released ah okay so sabse pehle to delta u is equals to q plus w right ab heat release chahiye to fir q part chahiye agreed delta u the moment you have isothermal conditions delta u and delta h they both become zero because delta u is ncv dt and delta h is ncp dt isothermal conditions hai matlab temperature constant hai dt will be zero so if your delta u is zero then what can i say i can say that q is equals to minus w अब हीट रिलीज ही तो चाहिए क्यू ही तो चाहिए राइट सो क्यू इज यूर नेट हीट सो यूर टॉकिंग अबाउट द हीट रिलीज सो दैट विल बी माइनस ऑफ वर्क डन अब ये वर्क डन कैसा है कंप्रेशन इट इज नॉट एक्सपेंशन इट इज कंप्रेशन सो वर्क डन इज वॉट वर्क डन इज पी इन टू डेल्टा वी सिंपली and why pdv that's because that's because kuch bhi isne nahi bataya ki reversibly hai ya irreversibly hai to agar kuch nahi bataya so you are going to take irreversible condition okay a real process i'm not going to take an, any ideal process otherwise until and unless it is mentioned so p external into delta v so delta v is v2 minus v1 a p external kya given hai 5 v2 minus v1 is what a volume to is not given so i know that the gas is ideal it means it is following pv equal to nrt equation right so v is what nrt by so directly i'll put n r t by p1 minus n r t by p2 isothermal condition se temperature to change hoga nahi so 5 into n n kya hai again 5 moles right into r ab kyunki to mere ko heat released kilo joules mein chahiye so r has to be taken as 8.314 because that is the one present in joules into t t kya hai 293 kelvin 1 by p1 minus 1 by p2 won't you get your answer yes or no easy question direct and simple Make sense? Great. So that's majorly all about this today's paper and everything. हाँ एक question था मुझे याद आ रहा है radial nodes and angular nodes पे था चार options दिए हुए थे कि इसमें से कौन किसके पास there were two radial nodes and two angular nodes in today's paper. ठीक है so you know कि as I predicted yesterday कि nodes पे एक question आ सकता है सो रेडियल नोड्स और एंगुलर नोड्स एंगुलर नोड्स होती है एल रेडियल नोड्स क्या होती है एन माइनस एल माइनस वन टोटल नोड्स क्या होती है एन माइनस वन सो फ्रॉम हेयर यू कैन पुट अगर एंगुलर नोड्स भी टू हैं सो इफ योर एंगुलर नोड्स आर टू दैट वाज द क्वेश्चन व्हिच इज व्हिच वाज गिवन यू डू नॉट हैव टू एड द माइनस बाई योर लाइक just the magnitude it will come eventually so yes the orbital will be d correct anch now if so from the angular information i got the l value as 2 now since i like in the question there was radial nodes were also 2 theek hai so that 2 is equal to n minus l minus 1 
टेन वैल्यू क्या आ गई फाइव सो द आंसर शुड बी फाइव डे हो गई पक्का ऑप्शन में मेक सेंस दिस क्वेश्चन दिस वॉज टूडेज पेपर क्वेश्चन डन Now I'm going to discuss about what should be your strategy for the next month's attempt. The people who are going to write it, okay. Just make sure, बच्चों. First of all, a very common trend which has been observed is, just topics में से इस बार question आए हैं हर paper में. That is having almost 85 to 90 percent probability that there would be a question in almost all the papers of the next month. ठीक है? From where, from this information, what can I uh, get to know? देखो थर्मोकेमिस्ट्री में से क्वेश्चन आया है बट थर्मोकेमिस्ट्री में से हर बार क्वेश्चन आया है इसका मतलब नेक्स्ट अटेम्प्ट में थर्मोकेमिस्ट्री में से थर्मोडाइनमिक्स में से दे वुड बी अ परफेक्ट क्वेश्चन फॉर श्योर बट थर्मोकेमिस्ट्री में से लॉन्ग क्वेश्चन अभी तक नहीं आया प्रीवियस टू डेज देर वॉज क्वेश्चन ऑन डेल्टा जी नॉट विच वॉज इन रिलेशनशिप विथ के इक्लिब्रियम राइट एंड अभी फर्स्ट लॉ में से आ गया सो थर्मो केमिस्ट्री के जो जनरल क्वेश्चन होते हैं यूजिंग योर डेल्टा एच एफ ओके और डेल्टा एच रिएक्शन उसमें से क्वेश्चन नहीं आया हो सकता है आज की इवनिंग शिफ्ट में आ गया हो सो अदरवाइज इट इज मोस्ट लाइकली टू कम इन द नेक्स्ट मंथ पेपर सो यू हैव टू बी थॉर विद दैट काइनेटिक्स में से क्वेश्चन पक्का आएगा लिख के ले लो काइनेटिक्स में से क्वेश्चन पक्का आएगा केमिकल इक्लिप्रियम में से अभी तक क्वेश्चन नहीं आया है अगर आज इवनिंग शिफ्ट में आ गया है तो बहुत अच्छी बात है अदरवाइज नेक्स्ट अटेम्प्ट में केमिकल इक्लिप्रियम में से कंफर्म क्वेश्चन होगा केपी या केसी में से कहीं से तो क्वेश्चन आएगा बफर में से अगर आज इवनिंग शिफ्ट तक आ गया तो बहुत अच्छी बात है अगर नहीं आया है तो कन्फर्म होगा नेक्स्ट टाइम पर बफर में से क्वेश्चन या सोल्ट हाइड्रोलिस में से क्वेश्चन ओके नाउ अगर फास्फोरस में से अभी तक क्वेश्चन नहीं आया या ऑक्सी एसिड में से क्वेश्चन नहीं आया तो यहां से भी क्वेश्चन पक्का आएगा फ्रॉम पी ब्लॉक दैट इज माय प्रोडिक्शन फॉर द नेक्स्ट अटेम्प्ट देन वन प्लेस रीडॉक्स की बैलेंसिंग One question has been asked yesterday, which was based on the redox balancing part. So, यहां से question जरूर आएगा which will be either connected to mole concept or connected to electrochem. This is my next prediction. Okay, electrochemistry में से आप uh, this part, uh, all these cells which are given, okay? बैटरीज uh, जितनी भी हमारे पास हैं सो so, उनमें से अभी तक क्वेश्चन नहीं आया तो या तो अगर आज के पेपर में आ गया होगा तो बहुत अच्छी बात है अदरवाइज अगेन फ्रॉम द नेक्स्ट मंथ लाइक नेक्स्ट मंथ अटेम्प्ट यू विल डेफिनेटली बी फाइंडिंग अ क्वेश्चन ऑन योर बैटरीज एंड नर्स इक्वेशन ठीक है अच्छा अगर इलेक्ट्रोलिस में से क्वेश्चन नहीं आया है तो इलेक्ट्रोलिस में से भी आएगा फिर अगर आज तक में इलेक्ट्रोलिस में से नहीं आया है तो फॉर श्योर नेक्स्ट टाइम इलेक्ट्रोलिस में से कंफर्म होगा देर वॉज एज आई प्रोडक्टेड देर वॉज अ क्वेश्चन ऑन केपी ओके अंश आई हैव नॉट रिसीव दैट क्वेश्चन सो आई डू नॉट नो बट इफ यू आर सेइंग आई कल तक तो इन्फॉर्म पता चल ही जाएगा ओके okay. another place from where i'm going to say uh, there would be a predicted question that is bohr's theory and quantum from atomic structure theek hai iske ilawa states of matter mein se question probability is very high aayega thermo equilibrium confirmed questions aayenge then a uh, goc में से जितना मैंने अभी तक देखा या जितने हमें क्वेश्चंस मिले हैं वो न्यूक्लियोफिलिक सब्सिट्यूशन वगैरह से मिले हैं ठीक है सो so, देखो प्रॉब्लम ये होती है कि बच्चे रिमेंबर नहीं कर पाते उत्तर डीपली की हर एक सेंसिटिव स्ट्रक्चर बेस्ड थिंग तो आई कैन अंडरस्टैंड दैट 
जियोपसीज में से कंफर्म क्वेश्चन है एंड मुझे जो लगता है क्वेश्चन आएगा वो आएगा इंटरमीडिएट से ठीक है स्टीरियो केमिस्ट्री एज आई प्रिडिक्टेड इन द वेरी फर्स्ट वेबिनार जिसमें से अभी तक तो मुझे कोई क्वेश्चन नहीं दिखा है एटलीस्ट किसी ने बताया तो नहीं है मुझे सो स्टीरियो केमिस्ट्री में से अगर आज आ गया होगा कोई क्वेश्चन तो अच्छी बात है अदरवाइज कंफर्म है दैट द नेक्स्ट मंथ इज गोइंग टू आस्क यू अ क्वेश्चन ऑन स्टीरियो केमिस्ट्री फॉर श्योर फॉर श्योर ओके देन देर इज द एसिडिक स्ट्रेंथ के जो क्वेश्चन होते हैं अभी तक आई हैव नॉट सीन सो अगर किसी टाइम पे आ चुके हैं तो बहुत अच्छी बात है बट अदरवाइज आई थिंक एसिडिक स्ट्रेंथ पर बेस्ड क्वेश्चन पक्का आएगा एसिडिक स्ट्रेंथ और बेसिक स्ट्रेंथ बेस्ड क्वेश्चन शुड डेफिनेटली बी देयर ऑल राइट इसके ऊपर कंफर्म क्वेश्चन होना चाहिए नेक्स्ट थिंग विच आई एम गोन प्रिडिक्ट फॉर यू ऑल वुड बी सोल्यूशन में से क्वालिगेटिव प्रॉपर्टीज ओके काइनेटिक्स में से फर्स्ट ऑर्डर अब वो किसी भी फॉर्म में हो सकता है न्यूक्लिक रिएक्शन भी हो सकता है कोई न्यूक्लियर रिएक्शन का डीकॉम्पोजिशन भी पूछ सकते हैं विच इज फर्स्ट ऑर्डर टी हाफ से रिलेटेड हो सकता है देयर कुड बी अ क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन रेगुलर के क्वेश्चन ठीक है प्लस आरियस मेरे यही बेट पॉइंट्स हैं जहां से आई एम एक्सपेक्टिंग दैट देर वुड बी अ क्वेश्चन ओके एंड द लास्ट थिंग फॉर श्योर ये चैप्टर्स प्लीज एनसीआरटी में से करके ही जाना जनरल आइसोलेशन एनवायरमेंट सरफेस केमिस्ट्री येस्टरडे ऑल्सो देर वॉज अ क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन सोल्स आज भी एक क्वेश्चन था बेस्ड ऑन सोल्स आई रिमेंबर ठीक है सरफेस केमिस्ट्री में से डायरेक्ट एनसीआरटी बेस्ड क्वेश्चन आएगा एंड बायोमोलिक्यूल्स अगैन एनसीआरटी बेस्ड क्वेश्चन देन केमिस्ट्री इन एवरी डे लाइफ अगैन एनसीआरटी बेस्ड क्वेश्चन एंड पॉलिमर्स एनसीआरटी बेस्ड क्वेश्चन ये चैप्टर्स एक्सक्लूसिवली फ्रॉम एनसीआरटी होने चाहिए कुछ एक्स्ट्रा पढ़ने की कोई जरूरत नहीं है ओके एंड फॉर श्योर देर विल बी अ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम हिट इन योर नेक्स्ट मंथ अटेम्प्ट ओके सो दो प्रोडिक्शन एंड वील सी इन द नेक्स्ट मंथ क्वेश्चन पेपर्स हाउ मच वी हैव बीन एबल टू जस्टिफाई द प्रोडिक्शन राइट ऑल राइट सो दैट इज मेजरली ऑल फॉर टूडे सेशन there was this uh, weird chromatography rate of uh, reaction question on 25th okay can you send me that uh saransh i'll be like willing to take that question so whenever you will get it uh, just post it the best thing would be if you can post it on the public forum so that once we'll answer it will be available for everyone to see and to do okay All right so that's all about today's session it was really nice having you as the audience okay we'll meet again in the next month discussing more about the next month's papers this is me bhavya agrawal signing off take care bye bye and all the very best